Hey, how are you doing? My name is Xu. Today, I want to talk about an alternative for Roam Research because lots of people ask me about it. There are now many Note apps that can be an alternative for Roam, but in this video, I wanted to explore my favorite app, Amplinote, as an option. If you're looking for an app that's completely same as Roam, you might want to try apps like LogSeq and uh, Athens Research, but many people seem to have realized that they don't actually need something as complex as Roam, so they look for something that's almost equally powerful, but simpler. In that sense, I think Amplinoid is a great candidate because it has some features Roam has, but simpler, faster, and easier to use. First of all, one of the most popular features of Roam is the daily notes. It's such a genius idea in my opinion because it makes the thinking process frictionless. It removes the need for you to think about things like where should I put this note, what category does this fall into, or what title should I give it? All of these questions cause friction in the process of your thinking. So having one ultimate place where all of your thoughts go is so valuable. Amplinote also has daily jots similar to Roam. You can write anything here such as an idea you had, a task, a video you watched and so on. A cool thing about this is that you can make daily notes for work or for personal by using tags. This way you can avoid mixing up your work and personal stuff if you prefer. Bi-directional linking is also available in Amplinote. It allows you to connect your notes and ideas together which lets you build a web of knowledge. You can also create a link to a specific block of a note. Then you can see all of the backlinks at the bottom of a page and filter them using keywords. There are a few differences too. For instance, Amplinote doesn't have the sidebar feature that you see in Rome. This means you cannot see references while you're writing something. This was one of my biggest frustrations, but a way around it is to create a new window with Command N or Control N and then put it next to the main window. This way you can have your research notes on the side while writing on the main panel. But there are a number of things that Amplinote has and Rome doesn't. For example, Amplinote has probably the best task management system as a note app. It has a unified task list that is automatically sorted by a unique algorithm called task score. Thanks to this, you can always see the tasks you need to be working on at the top of the list. This is my most favorite thing about Amplinote. And Amplinote's task lets you add context via note tag or inline tag, so there are lots of ways to filter by context or project. Also, it has a great mobile app that is fast. You can open it in an instant and start writing. You can see how fast it is from this graph about how long it takes to open each note app. Amplinote has one of the fastest loading time. Loading speed is crucial for mobile note apps because otherwise you might forget your ideas. Having a quick access to your task list is also great too. Finally, another difference is the price. Roam is about $15 a month, which can be a little too expensive for some people, but Amplinote recently started to offer a free plan, so you don't have to pay anything to use it. If you're interested in migrating from Roam or other note apps to Amplinote, the transition is easy. You just need to export your notes from the app you're using as Markdown, then select Import from the setting menu and it will start importing automatically. All the backlinks and images are preserved during the import so you can pick up right where you left off. As a former Roam user, there are a few tips I want to share with you to get the most out of Amplinote. First, use Command or Control N to create a new window. I mentioned this earlier, but it's really useful, especially when you're working on a writing project. You can use window management apps like Magnet if you're using Mac. This lets you change the size and position of a window with keyboard shortcuts. This way, you can create your ideal workspace quickly. Personally, I like to have an extra window as a sidebar where I can see my research notes. But when I'm not writing, I change to the calendar mode so I can see my schedule anytime. Second, you can use square brackets equal to insert the content of another note. Sometimes you want to reference something from another note. In that case, you can type square brackets equal and the title of the note you want to reference. This will insert the whole content of the note into your current one. But if you want to insert only a part of a note, you can type square brackets equal the title of a note, hashtag, and the block you want to insert. Finally, you might miss having space repetition plugin in Room for studying or reviewing notes. As an alternative, you can use the task in Amplinote. For example, let's say I want to review this note regularly. You can create a task with a link to the note and then set it to repeat every few days. This way, it will appear on your task list every now and then to develop your ideas incrementally. If you're thinking of trying Amplinote and want to learn more about it, you can watch this video about its best productivity features. Alright, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!